the idea was basically not, or the question was not, shall we get a third dog? It was more, shall we get a panda? So I was totally in love with that girl and I just can't really determine my life. But hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been around here or follow us on Instagram, you know that my husband and I have adopted a wadi dog in January this year and he was actually in Oman. So he spent some time with our puppy over there and then in May the dog was finally ready to travel over here. And this dog was Chalky, the one over here. Unfortunately, you can only get his butt today. And Chalky is a deaf Wadi dog and from Oman. This one here is uh, Rambo. He's a rescue dog too, but he's with me already for three years now. And yeah, he's our, our senior. By the way, please excuse the cat in the back. I painted a lot during the pandemic and I'm currently sorting out a lot of things in my office. Um, <laughs> sorting all of the colors and paints I have and um, also some of the pictures. So yeah, please excuse this. Um, and this is why we're also filming in a different location, but that's not important at all today. So today it's all about our latest addition to the family. As you've probably seen in the title, we adopted another Wadi dog from Oman, same shelter, same uh, charity. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the story, how it all happened and what we did and when the little one is due to arrive. Because if you adopt from abroad, especially from so far abroad, then chances are you will have to wait for the dog to, to come over. So they are not coming over within a week or so. So with us, it takes a couple of months until we can finally have her here. As they have to pass a lot of tests and need to be vet checked, all the papers, they need a flight buddy, etc. So it's quite a lot of bureaucracy to get the dog actually from Oman to the UK. Hi. So I was following Musk Dog Adoption on Instagram and there are all the time new dogs um, taken into the shelter because basically it's just not safe for them to be on the streets, they sometimes get kicked, they get stones thrown at them, they might get shot or their moms get shot, they starve, etc. So Chalky's story is a bit different. He was found by someone and he was actually picked up um, at the vets because he was about to be put down because yeah, there was no use for him, he was a deaf dog, etc. Whatever the reasons are. And well, the charity somehow got involved and he went to a foster home where he did not stay for too long and then went into another foster home with other dogs where he stayed most of the time until he was ready to travel to the UK to live with us. So he was not in the shelter environment. Um, however, Musk Dog Adoption also has a pond and the pond is basically, it's like an animal shelter. So they have different kennels and in these kennels are, I think with pandas kennel are like three to four dogs and then they hang out together in that kennel and then they can also play with the other dogs they've been taken for walks and um, yes they have been basically looked after however it's obviously a very very different environment than living in a loving home or in a foster home etc um, having said that though the volunteers are amazing and they are really so so good they are lovely and they are doing the best they can and if you want to support them financially please please get in touch with me or check out their Instagram account, check out their Facebook group. They always need funding to send dogs to homes abroad or to foster homes or to rescue centers abroad where they are more likely to find a home or also to buy food for the dogs. So yes, please do get in touch. Um, I can also link it down below or in the comments where you can find their GoFundMe page. But back to Panda story. Sorry, everywhere doggy bar. So I adopted Chuck in January and then in about May he was finally ready to travel and come to the UK. And this is about the time when Panda came into the pond, when she was found with her sister and both of the super cute puppies came to mask dog adoption or basically to, to their pond. And I have fallen in love immediately. Honestly, I was like, she's so freaking cute. So, <laughs> and I mean, I've blended in pictures so you can tell why she's called Panda. And she's basically just super, super gorgeous. And yeah, so there was like this little cute dog. And obviously, I mean, I, we just adopted a deaf dog. 
I was completely new to having a deaf dog. We have Ram Boy, so there was no way or <laughs> yeah, I was even thinking about adopting her. But I was just so in awe and I was like, oh my god, she's adorable, she's gorgeous. And I'm sure someone will snap her and just take her home. And I... Hi. I am in love forever. And um, yeah, it didn't happen. It... Sorry, sweetie. Yeah, it totally did not happen at all. So it's now November and she's nearly a year old and she's still in that shelter. And as far as I know, there was a bit of interest from people, but it was just not a good match. So they would make sure that the family is a good match. And um, yeah, it just didn't happen. So she's still there. She's still in the pond and has not been adopted yet. Well, she has now by me, but she hadn't been back then. Um, so I shared her also on Instagram and, and was also looking to, maybe for someone to to get her as a dog and um, I even asked my friend if she could adopt her so I could be her auntie and just hang out with her. Um, I also offered her to, to train her but yeah it was just not the right right time to get a dog and well time passed on and I talked to them I talked to one of the volunteers we were on the phone call months and months ago already and we were thinking to to check whether this would be an option to get her into our family and the idea was basically not or the question was not shall we get a third dog it was more shall we get panda so I was totally in love with that girl and um I just kind of needed her in my life but also I mean obviously having two dogs already so I definitely wanted to make sure that this is the right decision that it would be a good decision for Chalky as well as for Rambo obviously yes so the reason why we finally then agree to to basically get her and introduce her to her family was that Rambo is an amazing dog and he is the most amazing dog to to be around with I know I love you babe so for her this would be a great dog to learn and to be confident because most likely she will be quite anxious too when she will arrive um so yeah having once ramble on her side as a as a dog to basically help her gain confidence learn from and kind of as her as his guard dog as well but i mean obviously i'm around too but you know you get the point <laughs> having a dog who they can orient on as Chucky does a lot. And also Rambo's quite laid back, he actually quite enjoys the company. So we were told that Rambo would prefer to be an only dog and um, in the beginning this is most likely true. So he was like, why? When is this dog leaving? But now they cuddle, it's really cute. Um, however, the sad truth is that we'll be at one point a time when it might be that Rambo won't be around, so um, Chucky would be an only dog, and Chucky is not a dog who, in my opinion, should be an only dog. So he, well, he loves me, he trusts me. Um, still, though, he very much orients on Rambo. A lot of things he looks at Rambo for to see what is his reaction. Is he calm? Is he? Is he barking at something? Is he excited, etc.? It just translates differently. Nothing due to his high state of anxiety. And I mean, you mainly see him sleep because they know the moment I sit down, they just know it's it's time to sleep. It's time to relax. Actually, Rambo got up and went back into his bed right away. So yeah, we spoke about this in another video about calmness. But yeah, outside he's still very anxious he loves to play with his friends but otherwise he's very timid he's very anxious and yeah he's just not a very confident dog and I know it's been half a year however still I think he will very much benefit from another dog around who's more confident and also to have someone to play with and to just basically grow up with together so yeah that was the the thought behind it and then we made sure the best we could that Panda actually is a really good match for our house so adopting a dog from abroad, and I think there's something to keep in mind, you adopt a dog based on what they look like, you know, you think they are super cute, and of course they are, 
However, you don't know that dog, you just totally don't. So it's kind of like you have expectations, but you just don't really know if they've been met. Also, it's a very different environment. She would live in London in a city versus there. She is in a shelter. She has never been in a home. And it's a very, very different lifestyle, to be honest. So, yes, it stays incredibly interesting. And sometimes my anxiety kicks in a bit. I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? But most of the time, I'm just so hyper excited to have her around and I can't wait for her to come. And um, yeah, so we made sure that we would check whether she would be a good match for our house. So as I said, I've spoken to the volunteers over there, the, the one who hangs out there a lot. So she was amazing. They keep sending us regular updates, which is a thing I totally love about Masked Dog Adoption as well as the foster mom we had with Chucky, she did, and she was just so lovely. So yeah, you get constant um, updates on your dog. And with Masked Dog Adoption, they also have Panda living with an older dog, Tata. In case you would like to adopt Tata, he's gorgeous. So he's a bit older and he's just basically the Omani version of Rambo, I would say. So yeah, gonna check him out if you would be interested in adopting a Wadi dog. Um, they have also loads of other cute dogs. So. Yes, have a look around. They have a tab with dogs available for adoption. But I would, yeah, I'm happy to do a separate video on what the process is like, etc. So back to my baby girl. They actually sent me plenty of videos. What she is like with other dogs. What she is like with dogs she knows. What she's like with dogs in her kennel. With Tata especially as well. Um, as younger dogs or like dogs her own age. Which would be kind of like the same with Chucky. We had pictures or videos been sent from her being taken on walks with strangers or so with the volunteers who are there for either new or just um, sometimes. We had a video sent of her taking on a harness. We had video sent of group walks, single walks. We even had her, yeah, as I said, they are amazing. So they even arranged for her to meet dogs she has never met before. So dogs who were not in the shelter environment, who um, are not wadi dogs so she met these dogs too they went for walks um yes so this all happened and then i also spoke to the lady who in case you watch this shannon thank you so much yeah so um i spoke to the lady who trained chalky so as i mentioned before my husband was in oman when i adopted chalky ram and i couldn't go because ram was pre got banned so we stayed in the uk but my husband was in oman and I was like, oh my God, there's this cute little deaf puppy. He probably won't find a home there. And you know, we should take him. And he went and um, had him then a couple of times with weekends whenever possible. Then I actually signed them up for puppy classes in Oman. So they could have some bonding time and also get him to understand a few basic commands and build trust in the relationship. And the lady who trained Chucky, she was amazing. So we are in touch over Instagram. And she was, as I said, amazing. She offered to visit Panda because she knew Chucky. And, and before Chucky arrived in the UK, we had a FaceTime meeting with her to also um, yeah, set us basically up for success. So how to best introduce them, what to look for with Chucky, etc. So it was just amazing. So basically I took up on her offer and asked her to see Panda. And she went in the shelter to visit Panda and to see how she would react, how friendly she is, if there's any signs of aggression, etc. So just for me to know what to prepare myself for and also that it's safe for Chalky to basically yeah, get involved because he might not hear if a dog growls at him or something else. So, um, and also for me, so if I make the decision of getting a dog from abroad to our house, especially in a multi-dog household, it just has to fit and the decision should be properly thought through. So yeah, for me, this was a no brainer to check that everyone will be safe and happy. I mean, there will be loads of work to do. There will be loads of management to be put into place. However, I think, yeah, that is really important. So yeah, she went in and she met Panda and she was very shy at the beginning. And then shortly after she came and was super affectionate, wanted cuddles and they went for a walk and um, yeah, it just made, me like it gave me such a good feeling that I know this is a good decision and that it's something to look forward to and as I said I'm totally not 
underestimating the amount of work this will be, especially at the beginning before things kick into place. We had with him very much resource guarding. We had high food envy. We had him being snappy with Thomas Rambo. So Rambo luckily super chilled and there was a lot of management to be taken into place for me. And now they even, they swap worlds. They basically eat next to each other. If he has a chewy bit, which Rambo is not allowed and also doesn't really like these, you know, like a proper ear or something, they would basically sit on the same bed and eat it, but he would eat it and just wouldn't care. Very different though if another dog would come in who is not part of our pack. So this is something to look out for, of course, and she might, she's, she's most likely not potty trained. She will need a lot of time to decompress. She will most likely be highly anxious. So yeah, there's a lot of things and factors to consider. And she's also a year old than when she arrives next year. So she will come next year. But yes, it's um, a decision we made and I'm over the moon. I really can't wait for my baby girl to come home. I never had a female dog actually, so she will be my first ever girl. <laughs> so excited she's a bit smaller than Chalky, a bit younger and um, yeah she's all healthy she's she passed um, all of her she passed all the tests she needs and now we're just waiting for her to come and it will be next year so it yeah the waiting basically takes forever but um, yeah I thought I would share the news with you and um, if you would like to learn more about the adoption process or if you are maybe thinking about adopting a wadi dog then yeah please let me know if i can help in any way otherwise i will see you next week thank you for watching